Hi, it's Vonna, the Twisted Stitcher, and I'm back with my sewing series number four, which is general maintenance on your machine. Okay, you've sewn an entire project, or it's the end of the week after you've sewn very heavily. You should always do general maintenance by the end of the week, by the end of a large project, or before you put it into storage. Always, you should do your general maintenance. In the back of your manual, again, there should be Here's my manual. In the back, it should be, there should be a how to clean your machine. <clears throat> the first thing that you need to do is take out, take off your thread. A word about taking off your thread out of the machine. First of all, never ever jerk your thread out. Why? because there is a check spring in here and jerking it out will actually, after over time, will cut that check spring in, will actually cut it. I mean, because the thread will just, from constant jerking it out, will cut, will damage your machine. So what you do is you walk out your thread. How do you walk out your thread? You take it off the spool and then you take it out backwards, basically. So I've got it out of the, the thread guide. I'm walking it down here, back over here, and then you can pull, gently pull it off. Right in here is a check thread, and when you walk it down, you'll hear it release, and then you know that you can just pull it, the thread off the top from the thread bar. So always walk your thread out, which is just basically unthreading it backwards, however your machine threads. A very helpful tip for those of you that might not know that that's what you should do. I didn't. I basically, this is like I said, was a 15-year-old machine. I had always jerked it out, and I tore up my check spring in there, and there you go, I learned my lesson. So take it from me, walk your thread out. Okay, so to get in here to do the maintenance, <clears throat> you need to find in your kit that when you got your machine, there typically comes a little, um, a little uh, screwdriver. So I'm in my, my box where I keep all of my parts and pieces to my machine. I have a little plastic box where I do that. Here is my, my screwdriver for my machine. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my foot. So you take off the screw at the needle post here. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this entire thing off. Do not lose your screw. Put it somewhere safe. I generally put mine underneath my, my extension table. See, I'm gonna put it down right over here so I know where it's at, okay? And I'm also gonna put my foot down there with it. So I know that that screw went with that foot. I'm going to take off my bobbin cover and take out my bobbin, okay? Okay, so and then I'm gonna put my bobbin in my bobbin saver. Now then, I'm gonna take off my needle. Again, to take off your needle, cover all holes in your machine with a piece of tape or a piece of fabric, and then take off your, your needle. And this is still a good needle, so I'm going to put it underneath with my screw down here, underneath my extension table. All right, now we need to take off the needle plate. I'm gonna take my screw and I'm gonna take off this, I'm gonna to not take my screw. I take, take my screwdriver and I'm going to unscrew the needle plate screw. I'm putting the screw down here underneath my table safe. Don't lose your, your needle plate screw. All right, so then I'm gonna take off my needle plate and that basically will just be to pull it up gently and slide it off. 
okay? Now then, you can see, look right there, a whole bunch of lint, of lint, and there's some way down in here too, okay? That's bad. We need to make sure that we clean our machines frequently, and if you start having problems with the way your threads are laying, or if they feel, if they're not, the tension's not right, this is another thing to always check. After you change your needle, after you rethread your machine, check about how dirty your machine is, okay? So, what do I use to clean my machines? I use a toothbrush, I have some different paint brushes, and I have a straw. Why a straw? Well, I'm going to get my, my uh, vacuum cleaner and I'm going to hold, I'm gonna stick this down in the holes and I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna suck <laughs> this up. So it is a homemade, way to suck. You never want to blow canned air into your machine because all of this will get back in there and that is a no-no. So you just want to suck out. You don't want to blow in. So I'm going to silence you while I suck all of this up, okay? Just a moment. Okay, so I got down in there. You can see, look how much cleaner that is by doing that. Now I'm gonna take out my bobbin case. Before you take it out, kind of look at how it's in there so that you don't forget how to, it goes back in. But if it does, if you do forget, I'll show you a, an easy way to remember how to put it back in. So you take your bobbin case out. Now then, you're gonna see that there's gonna be dust and debris on here. You're gonna just generally Clean that off. There's dust and stuff right there in the back of the, that bobbin case. And there might even be some dust down in there. See, there's a little speck of something down there. That's when I get my, my paintbrush and I'll go like this and get that out of there. Okay, so your bobbin case is looking good nice and clean. So we're gonna set this underneath our extension table where I have all my other stuff down there so I don't lose it. Now then you can see that it is rather dusty down in there. I mean, I sucked a lot of the stuff out, but now I'm gonna have to loosen that with a paintbrush and suck some more, okay? So I'm going to mute you again, or mute me again while I do that. All right, let's look how clean this looks. How good did I do? Look how nice that that looks. All nice and clean. All nice and clean. Look how nice. Okay, so that's general maintenance. That's all you have to do. Basically, you just make sure that your race is clean. This is the hook race right in here. Your feed dogs will become packed with, um, fi with fibers, with uh, lint, they'll be packed. That's bad. So you want to make sure that you get those out. And then you want to kind of just look around the race in here and suck as much as you can. Loosen it, then suck. Okay? All right. So now we're ready to put it back together. The first thing that will go in <clears throat> is my bobbin case. Now then, I was careful and remembered that the, the little U-shaped goes back here. But if you don't know, if you can't remember, this little place right here, there should be like a little spring and it should go right against that little spring. So let me try to move you up so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to put my bobbin case back in like that. 
and then see this little spring you should always have like it should just go right move just like that okay all right so we got our bobbin case back in correctly now it's just a matter of putting everything back together so we get our feed dogs right lined up on the feed dogs just like that okay we're going to put our needle plate screw back in Make sure that it's tight. I mean, not like excruciatingly tight, but you want it to make sure that it's holding down your needle plate, okay? Then it's just a matter of covering it up, putting our needle back on. Remember, where, remember that your shank is flat on the back. You want mine goes towards the back. Wherever your machine tells you to, to put your needle, the flat back of the needle, put wherever you put it. All machine, home machines use a flat back needle. Up against the pin and just finger tighten it. Then we're gonna put our ankle back on. I took the foot off just for ease of use. So we're gonna put our ankle back on. <clears throat> You're gonna hold it against, hold it against the ankle the ankle against the, the needle bar and then just thread the, the screw back on and tighten it. Okay. And put our bobbin case back lid back on and then we're going to put on our foot and there you go a nice clean machine ready for storage or the very next project thanks so much for watching until the next time have a great day